hello thank you for watching this video to uh, this video will uh, tell you how to create a dynamically loadable driver how to insert it <coughs> and how to remove it this is the best feature of the kernel that we can load our driver dynamically and we can remove it at the runtime as well i have created a simple driver uh, so it is a test driver so here is the code it is test dot c so it is a very simple driver i have included the basic initialization file it is the kernel initialization file module file and kernel dot h so there are only two functions uh, one is hello underscore init that function will be called when the driver is initialized another is hello underscore exit that function will be called when the driver is removed so this is underscore underscore init this uh, this is used to tell the kernel that the driver is called at the initialization phase only and the hello underscore init is the initialization function same as hello underscore exit exit function is same as used to tell the kernel that that function will be called only when the driver is removed so there is a module in it that module in it is driver initialization entry point and this and that argument tells the kernel that that function will be called when the driver is <coughs> inserted same module underscore exit it is the driver initialization exit point it is used to tell the kernel that that function will be called when the driver is removed module underscore li license is necessary so there are some of the license uh, the uh, that that are it is necessary to tell the kernel like which license uh, it it has to use module underscore description it is optional and author is part is also optional to compile the driver i have created a simple make file uh, <coughs> it is the syntax to create a driver for the kernel module obj object space minus m and test dot o and kernel directory it is the build directory of our laptop and it is the syntax that that it has to be used it is the by default syntax and uh, when i used make it will create the out, uh, dot ko file it is the driver file so if i want to insert it so i have to like simple ins mod is the command that is used to tell uh, to load a driver it is test dot q so if i check it it is this place minus 10 so the driver is initialized thank you mm -hmm. now if i want to remove it so it is sudo space rm mode space test dot q so now the driver is removed let's see now yes the driver is removed is done thank you this is for the this is for this video only thank you please subscribe to c plus linux channel on youtube thank you